Now I know how frustrating it can be when you face an error when downloading the terminal. Even worse, having your terminal stack whilst downloading or after downloading the terminal, you're faced with an error code and just can't get it to work. Now I'm going to take you through the easiest to the most complicated solutions in this video. I urge you to stick around for every single second because you cannot tell which exact solution is going to solve your problem. Now click my site down in the description to get all the links and commands to aid you in fixing your terminal. Firstly, click the links on my website for fast.com or speedtest.net to check your internet speed. Hey, don't forget to smash the like, subscribe and bell button and comment down if it worked or if you run into a problem. This is easily one of the main causes of a terminal not working. You should aim for at least 1 megabyte in speed as slow Wi-Fi is easily one of the causes of an error. Do not turn off your Wi-Fi or slow it down by watching other videos or downloading other stuff. Kindly avoid moving your Chromebook around as that is an easy cause of unsustainable speeds. Now if this doesn't solve your problem, let's check out the next solution. Now we want to go ahead and open our settings. Once in our settings, we want to click on the network settings tab or just click on our network itself. Extend the current network you're using and then go ahead and click on the network toggle down. Scroll down and change this from automatic to Google name service. Sometimes this is all it takes because Google's name servers are made by Google and hence best suited for getting the terminal to work. Now if you have two networks, I recommend you go into your network settings and change from the current to any other networks to get the job done. This could be all it takes to get the terminal to work for some people. Sometimes your Wi-Fi may not be stable or just changing your Wi-Fi might actually just solve the problem. Now we want to go ahead and click our settings again. Once here, we can go ahead and click on about Chrome OS, head on over to additional details and once here, you can go ahead and click on the change channel button. Now we want to change this to either beta or developers. What we really want to do is to pick one, restart our Chromebook and try to download the terminal. After that, if that doesn't work, you want to pick the other option restart your Chromebook and try again. Basically, this is one of the great options when it comes to your terminal not working. Try it out and let me know down in the description or comment down below how this went for you. Now, if you're part of those with a terminal that is stuck downloading or those facing an error after installation, I advise to remove your Linux terminal and try again. Now, this is side tip. Sometimes the removing terminal loading bar takes forever. So I'd recommend you wait for like 10 minutes and then restart your Chromebook in the middle of its loading. Firstly, copy the Crostini container install flag. Head on over to your Chrome browser and click on it. Now once in Chrome, paste this link in your search bar and hit enter right away. Go ahead and select default. Now quick facts, Debian 10 is Buster, whilst Debian 11 is Bullseye. If you already have the terminal installed, kindly use the last command to check your Debian version. Now select Bullseye as your Debian version and then go ahead and restart your Chromebook for the changes to apply this. Just a quick word, if you're looking for ways to make money online, you've got to try out peer to profit It's a safe software that allows you to share your internet and return for money. I use this personally and I can vouch that it doesn't steal your personal information and that it's legit. If you're interested, kindly click the link down in the description or the link on my website to get started. Now click on settings. Once here, click on advanced, scroll down and then click on developers. Thereafter, you want to hit turn on and then click next. Now here's where most of you make a mistake and you need to pay close attention. I advise you leave it on the recommended 10 gigs and later, go ahead and reduce or increase the space after installation. However, we need to confirm we actually have 10 gigs of space. So let's go to our files, click the three dots in the top right side and check the available storage space. And show you have 10 gigs or more for installation to work properly. Once this is confirmed, go back to the installation and click on install. Now, should you still have terminal problems, I advise you check the next step. Now, those of you that already have a Linux terminal, however, you've just been hit with an error code. Here is what I recommend you understand and do. Now, every error code is assigned to a different definition for a problem. So, for example, error code 49 may mean something different from error code 37. If you do not understand what I'm trying to tell you, all you have to do is just take a screenshot of your screen, get to my Discord, paste the problem that you may be facing. It might be easier for me to realize the error code number and actually help you with the assistance you need. 
Sometimes you might have an error because your time on your PC is set wrong, which will give you, let's say, an error code 67. That's not accurate, but it's just an example. So I'm just hoping that you guys understand the concept between the terminal. I do not know why it's this way, but that's what we have to deal with from time to time. Note that some replicas of Chrome OS, such as Fido OS, Chrome OS Flex, and Branch Chrome OS may be glitchy. Not because they are bad systems, however, due to the differences in hardware compared to an actual Chromebook, they might not get the terminal to work like on a normal Chromebook. Now click on settings. Once settings loads up, click on about Chrome OS. Now this is the technique that has worked for me and it's most likely going to work for you. You need to either downgrade or upgrade your Chromebook to a specific version. Personally, Chrome OS version 97 and 107 have been the sweet spot for the Chrome OS Ramos edition. Downgrading to either can solve the problem. I don't know about the other versions of Chrome OS, but let me know down in the comments how they perform. Now here's the interesting part about downgrading or upgrading to a specific version. After following the guide I gave you in the description, you shouldn't lose any data. However, here's an important tip. You can downgrade all the way down to a very low version just to get the terminal. However, you want to upgrade back to the latest. Upgrading your Chromebook doesn't delete the terminal. The latest bugs and security releases may be important for us then once we have the terminal up and running. I personally use 97 and 107 for installing my terminal and I just upgraded to the latest version right after that. Personally, that's what has worked for me, but however, you guys should let me know if anything outside of these two work for you guys. See the link for the scheduler configuration flag. Open your browser, paste it in your search bar and hit enter. Now click on defaults and change it to enables hyper threading. Once done, minimize the tab and go back to the links. Copy the Crostini GPU support flag link, move back to your browser, paste it and hit enter as well. Likewise, click on default and change this to enable. Now reset your Chromebook so that the Chromebook can apply. If you've tried all the above and you're still having problems, there are two other Linux distributions available for Chromebooks, Crouton and Chromebrew. Crouton is a tool that allows you to install a full Linux operating system alongside Chrome OS. This can be useful if you need to use a specific Linux application that is not available on Chrome OS. However, Homebrew is a new alternative to Crouton that allows you to install Linux applications without having to install a full operating system like the Debian installing terminal that we're doing right now. This can be useful only if you need to get some few applications and do not have enough space just like the Debian terminal you're trying to get. If you're still facing problems, just drop your problem down in the comments. However, if your terminal worked, check out these two videos on how to install Minecraft and Roblox. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.